During the Vietnam War, the U.S. was also bombing Laos. Most Americans did not know it, but for nine years, the U.S. Air Force targeted communist forces in neighboring Laos, which had occupied the Ho Chi Minh Trail corridor for supplies. To do that, the U.S. dropped more bombs on this country than it did in all of World War II. How many bombs were dropped in those in those years between 1964 and 1973? About two million tons of bombs were dropped. So during that nine-year period, um, a plane load of bombs were dropped every eight minutes, 24 hours a day for nine years. Over 50,000 people were killed during that period. And then after the last bombs were dropped in 1973, 20,000 people have died since then. So that's been 43 years right. since all this ended. Right. And there's still bombs in the ground. Right. And people are still being killed and injured. Among the worst hit, the Plain of Jars. Archaeologists believe 2,000 years ago, these stone jars were created to store wine or water or bodies of the dead. Of all the spots that was hit in Laos by the U.S. bombs, where does this one rate? As it's the top, Plain of Jars, Sien Kuang area is the most massively bombed area in, in all of Laos. One of the most massive bombing campaigns the U.S. ever conducted. Six decades ago, this country fell into civil war. And as the fighting raged next door in Vietnam, your neighbors and foreign powers, including the United States, intervened here. At the time, the U.S. government did not acknowledge America's role. It was a secret war. And for years, the American people did not know made Laos per person the most heavily bombed country in history. As one Laotian said, the bombs fell like rain. As for these videos, we could not confirm that they were shot specifically in Laos or Vietnam or in U.S. training operations, but documentary makers who spent months researching this question tell us that they are accurate. Certainly the types of weapons, planes, and bombs used in both Vietnam and Laos. So in terms of numbers, about two million tons of bombs were dropped on Laos from 1964 to 1973. They're not hard to find. In the tourist spots, they put these little signs up telling people that these bomb craters happened at that time. More than 30% of those bombs in those years did not explode. Not like landmines or a different type of weapon, cluster munitions were meant to explode upon impact. And so if they're hit with blunt force, or if there's heat involved, um, they will explode. Hello, later. Our guide is Chanabal Kivosa. What do you think? Sabadi. <laughs> what does that mean? Sabadi is hello. Who as a child fled Laos as a refugee and grew up in America. Don't Feel the air? So fresh. She founded an organization that deals with the legacy of America's secret war in Laos. 40% of those who have been wounded or killed are children. Are children. Why is that? They're because small little bomblets, right? They're the size of a tennis ball. And children will pick them up and see them as, as toy-like. Oftentimes, we'll play with them and tamper with them, and they'll explode. This is from the Bombi. Right over here? Was the bomb right over, right over here? No, it was right here. Okay. It was right here. They were playing with it right here. Well, the two boys must have been touching it or something, and it went off, um, causing the most injury, obviously, to the two boys that were sitting here. As you can see, um, their blood splatters are still all over uh, this bench. Um, the one that's in the hospital was sitting right here. Uh, so that's yeah. his blood. Yeah. So in this village, they have found hundreds of these bombs, but they just didn't get this one. Hi. Oh, how are you? How's he doing, huh? Is he better? Mm-hmm. 
So he lost all this part? Um, he says he's left-handed. Did you did you know that this this bombs possibly could possibly blow up? Yeah, he said that. Um, he says he didn't know that it was going to explode. What do you know about these bombs? Do you know where they came from all those years ago? Bang Bang Oh, he says Bang Pao, the Americans. Yeah. See, you you know more about these bombs than any of your other friends now. You'll be their teacher. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Every day, teams are in the fields searching for the bombs. We joined one of them. Right, so, so about a month you found 147 little cluster bombs yeah, and 154 yeah. of a different kind. Mm -hmm. And this is about the same level of danger as it was before. Yes. So you've got another, just until September, this will be over. First of all, please don't, uh, don't uh, wear off uh, anywhere that you like. Please follow the leader. So they're going to take us out here to the field where they're going to search for these bombies, you know, these little tiny cluster bombs and anything else they can find as well. Once they find them under, under the ground, they'll detonate them, blow them up before they dig them up. The people who live here, the, the local village chief, is out here to look, because obviously it's their interest for them to find as many of these little bombs and get them out of here. This, this is where they found a, a real bomb. Is it, is it safe to walk out here? It's okay. So this is the one that they're gonna blow up in this field because it's safe and further away from the people's homes. What does your family think about you doing this and taking these risks? What, what do you think generally about the fact that the United States dropped these all those years ago? Do you think enough is being done right now to, to clear all of these bombs out of the ground? It's not enough, of course it's not enough. One third of the whole country is is still contaminated by cluster bomb. So it would take us probably uh, a century. You think it'll take a hundred years before it's all cleared? I would say yes, because two thirds of the country is mountainous. That, that is the area uh, which would be most difficult to, to clear all this bomb. How many kids were were killed and how many were injured? One was killed? So the accident, one was killed. The accident involved seven people. Uh, six were children and then one died. Yeah. And then a grandmother died as well. They found the bomb back there yeah. in the woods? Yeah. Right to this area right here? Yeah. What about this three years ago that you found you found one of these small bombs just right over there in the in the uh, forest and in the jungle and it, something happened here uh, is, is there any way you can tell us what what you saw at that time did everybody in here hear that 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 bomb going off 
ยอะมากันคนมือเลยเป็นไม่เจอตีเลยล้านล้านเมตรห้าปีเมนล้าน yeah so the five year old is her niece and the thirteen year old is her they actually two children died Where was it that this thing blew up? Can you tell me where you were hit? In this? Ah. Yeah, there's a pellet that was lodged into his ankle. Is it still in there? He uh, took a razor and cut it out. He cut the debris out. Yeah. So this has been this has been three years now. Do you still think about this a lot? Yeah, still has vivid memories of it. All right, so now we've been told that this is a this is a school where they found a 200-pound bomb right against this cliff. Is this where it was? Ah, so you just dig it out right there, and then the uh, the other 200 pounds is right over there. Yeah, yeah. So it, 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 you know, I mean, fortunately, right? They when they the aircraft crashed, they uh, dug into the earth, it actually hit that tail. Wow, you're lucky. When they saw this, right, when they, when they finally realized what they had hit, that's when they stopped everything. Remnants of war continue to shatter lives here in Laos. The wounds, a missing leg or arm, last a lifetime. So this is the first time you're you now able to walk with this uh, prosthetic. Yeah. Now, now you have independence that you didn't have before this. Yeah. You're 21. This happened when you were 12 years old. Uh, so you and, a, you and a friend were playing catch with the, uh, with the bombie, with the, the cluster bomb. Didn't the other, your friend was killed? My brother. What do you think people think generally about America? Because these bombs were dropped by the United States. Of course I'm angry, he told me, that the Americans dropped the bombs on our farmland. But I have forgiven them. I think for the older generation, uh, there's still a memory of what happened here and, uh, and what the U.S. did here in terms of the bombings. With the younger generation, you know, that, that memory and that history is no longer a part of their life. Given our history here, I believe that the United States has a moral obligation to help Laos heal. And even as we continue to deal with the past, our new partnership is focused on the future. Barack Obama is the first sitting American president to ever visit this country. He is hoping to turn a page. Most of those we met here were born well after the secret war ended. We were welcomed everywhere we went. From above, you can see how seemingly untouched and beautiful Laos is. What you cannot see are the bombs still beneath the ground. Thank you.